Cancer, hi. I'm going to do one tarot card reading for your sign. Now, it's not just Cancer Suns. Of course, if you have the moon in Cancer, or your rising sign, your ascendant is in Cancer, you can also use this card as your guidance. Now, Cancers, uh, the North Node in Cancer, uh, this year indicates that you are the driving force, you are the leading force, and of course the north nodes are what create eclipses. So there will be a big eclipse July the 2nd in Cancer, a solar eclipse at 10 degrees Cancer, very close to the U.S. Sun. So of course uh, these eclipses do repeat in 18 year cycles, and so you may want to think about you know, where you were at 18 years ago. Also again for the U.S. in general, for any country, Canada as well, uh, that has their birthday close to uh, the beginning of July will be affected. And of course, the solar eclipse in Capricorn, of which there are two of those as well, January 5th, we've already had that one, and July 16th, there's going to be a lunar eclipse at 24 Capricorn conjunct Pluto, so that's another very powerful one, because every sign has to deal with its opposite. Okay, so Cancers. So what do you need for guidance in 2019? Okay, so here we have number 19, uh, the card of the sun. Now this is of course the highest energy card in the deck, the sun, uh, called soul, uh, you know, a pun with soul uh, in Latin. The soul, the sun, is the source of all light. It is the source of all life. So cancers, you need to feel lit. You need to feel in your joy and in your happiness and bring the light and be the light and, you know, shine. You know, literally this is about shining with your light. Now in the tarot, you can see there's two, uh, actually, children or angels kind of playing. So this is a time of rejoicing and positive energy in the structure of the tarot. This card, the sun, comes after experiencing what they call the dark night of the soul. So however difficult things have been for you, um, you know, a lot of people, cancer rules homelessness. There's a lot of people without homes who are struggling for food. There are immigrants. There's a lot of you know, disruption in the world, children, sex trafficking, all of that stuff is in the news uh, this year. But this is a time of positive energy and power and new laws are being passed to protect children. And so this is a time to celebrate, to be positive, to think positive, um, to be the one who brings the light to other people. Okay, so you want to shine in all of your endeavors. You know, cancers love home and family and very close to your mom and to your roots and to your foundation. Um, cancers rule food. So food may be a big issue in 2019. Again, you may need to be more creative um, with what you eat. Um, and again, eat what makes you feel good. You know, the card of the sun is pretty simple. You know, it makes me feel good. This is what I do. You know, cancers ruled the stomach. So if you have any stomach issues or any emotional issues, you want to take care of that. You may also want to, you know, bring more light into your house. Um, and that can be done through different ways, through literally lighting the house or changing things in your house or energetically bringing light into where you live. If you're not happy where you're living, then definitely move, okay? So Cancers, this is your year to shine. I would definitely do that.